Machine. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Welcome to my podcast, Cold Narratives. I'm your host, Iceberg Green. I'm about to let y'all hear some of these cold narratives. Check it out. We are not yeah. getting the services right. that we yeah. deserve yeah. throughout. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. crime is spreading. We know that the voters made a mistake by voting for Sheng Tao. Yeah. But as you can see with the signatures that we have collected, they are willing to correct their mistake. She either resigned or get recalled. Yeah. Because either or. Because she's not doing her job. Nope. No and job. we see the consequence of her failure on the streets every day. Okay, so I just did a story on this uh, this mayor of Oakland, and they actually have like 12,500 votes out of 24,000 that they need to put on a ballot to recall this mayor. So, uh, you know, they this, this effort's been going on for a while. She had a few interviews, and I just played a video where she discussed um, how she uh, planned on, you know, changing Oakland. And she didn't mention that $15 million that she lost, um, that she missed a deadline to get for Oakland to, you know, uh, secure some money for a crime. Also, it's been bad before, but I can't remember a time where it's been this bad, where a lot of our iconic uh, restaurants, sports teams, even communities have been pretty much depleted. Uh, you go to the community in Oakland, you ride through, you'll look around, you know, in certain areas, uptown, downtown, and they're more secure uh, based on the presence of the police and all that stuff. When you go into inner city, you, you'll be waiting um, a long time to uh, get a response from them. So what she's done, uh, she's came in, you know, like I said, and she didn't prepare for what could happen um, when she did this. So they have a police commission and they've been at her, they've been on her helmet. I support my city and uh, it hasn't, it hasn't been this bad. I just got to keep it a, a buck with y'all. It's never been this bad, even when we had a high murder rate. Right now, it's more crime infested, people struggling, people are doing bad. And I'm not justifying any form of crime. I'm going to point out that people are doing bad. That's a fact. And specifically black uh, people, foundational black Americans. And when I say we, I mean us as a collective, as a people, because you know me personally, I'm a black man that's going to fight for my people. I'm going to continue to fight. I'm going to continue to succeed. Uh, I'm going to fight for those reparations with a check. That's what I'm going to do. So back to this mayor. She's been in office for about a year. Uh, and since she's been in office, you know, she's been uh, dodging, meeting some of these police chiefs, uh, even the people that's running and even want to be selected as a police chief. She's actually not interviewing them. When she came in with Leron Armstrong, she just fired him. She never sat down with the brother and said, hey, uh, what's going on comprehensively in Oakland? What have you gathered before I fire you? I mean, I'm just saying that she could she didn't even do that. She just got him up out of here. And my thing is, I don't advocate for things that are not going to benefit my community. And this hasn't. Her being elected and people got to hold themselves accountable. The people of Oakland that got out there and advocate to get this lady appointed as our mayor, they need to hold themselves accountable because y'all voted for this. You know, um, it was a good idea when you felt like it was going to benefit your community. But you notice in this video, they got a white person, a Hispanic person, a, a Asian. And they're part of the Asian unit. And this uh, Hispanic guy, I'm sure he's part of a union. And these people are, hey, they made it, you know, they made it uh, official. Just look at this fact. And you have another Asian, uh, which never really happens that much in a community, going against you and saying that you need to be recalled. You got an issue. So she's having issues with each community, the Hispanic community, the Asian community, and especially the foundational black American community. Definitely. She's having an issue with us all. And this is the end result. But uh, check this out and I'll be back. Tom, how far along are these organizers? Much farther than I think anybody realizes. It surprised me. Using a shuttered business for their stage, recallers say, in fact, they are succeeding. Saturday afternoon saw yet another rally to recall Oakland Mayor Shang Tao in what was once Restaurant Le Cheval, closed in part due to street crime. She didn't inherit all of these problems. She caused a number of problems. Retired Alameda Superior Court Judge Brenda Harbin Forte heads the recall petition. People who say give her more time, more time to do what? She has ruined our city. A recall is possible due to Oakland's ongoing bouts with brash criminal activity, missing the deadline to secure $15 million in state funding to combat retail crime, the recent spate of Hagenberger businesses closures, as well as the continuing failure to appoint a permanent police chief. 
Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and make a mockery of it, but it's bad for her. This is what I'm talking about. When you get in office and you don't have people's best interests in mind, you come to a city that pre that's predominantly black, structurally black, and you come in there and you change the agenda and make it about you. That's not cool to me. You need to get up out of here with that type of uh, mentality. You did not connect with the inner city. What you did, you started a bunch of uh, bootlick fundraisers, sent money this way, allocated this way. And we don't see that much. They don't talk about Elaine Brown and what she's done in West Oakland. They don't talk about that. But I'm going to report on that because she's doing uh, some powerful stuff. Uh, former commissioner of the Black Panthers. Shout out to Elaine Brown. So they're not going to report on that. They're going to report on stuff, these fake bootlick ass campaigns that they run in where they get the uh, people to dancing and shucking and jiving to get on the vote. That's over with, y'all. Y'all need to stop dancing for, uh, to these people, for these people, man, for a vote. That's that's crazy, man. Y'all sit up there and tell everybody, ah, oh, no, nah, yo, we, we don't want Trump. But y'all can't point out what Biden has actually done for you. People will tell you, ah, oh, no, nah, we don't want Trump. But what has Biden done? And I, I like I said, this is, this is something I need to tell everybody. Just because you don't vote in a presidency doesn't mean you can't vote locally. People will get this mentality, we telling everybody not to vote, the black media. That we're telling everybody not to vote. No, we're telling everybody to vote for tangibles. And one thing about the uh, presidency, they don't never bring tangibles to black people, foundational black people. They don't bring tangibles to us. They bring tangibles to every other group. Look at it. I mean, y'all see it. Look at all the other groups. They get tangibles, hate crime bills. They get everything. But us, we still fighting for these things. Uh, just think about this. We've been fighting for these things uh, for a very long time. We got some people in um, the baby boomers where they just sit, they sit there and say, oh, they're not going to give us no revenue. Just get out of here. Y'all, them, them white folks ain't going to do nothing. See how that mentality sounds? They're buck broken. When someone's sitting there, and like I said, we got to let them be. The OGs and the old, older people, they just say, hey, vote Democrat. Y'all don't understand, but we're going to let y'all be. But this new generation and uh, Gen X, Gen Z's, I be Gen Z's, I believe that's what it is. I'm not really familiar with all this stuff, but I know that I'm with the movement. I am 45. So whatever, uh, whatever, uh, wherever that puts me, hey, I'm with the shit. But uh, back to what I was uh, talking about in this content. Those wanting to dump the mayor must get at least 10% of Oakland's registered voters to sign a recall petition, 25,000 of them by July, and it looks like they'll beat that deadline by months. 12,500 people plus who have signed already to recall Mayor Shinkai. Yeah. A rainbow of recallers said if the recall gets on the November ballot and if it passes, Tao will be gone. And I just want to say one one thing to you, Mayor Shing Tao. I know you want this uh, police commission to leave you alone, but it ain't happened. This is the way it works. This is the process, and you have to deal with it. And again, if you're gonna if you're gonna elect someone to be mayor, and even uh, this is the police commission as well, uh, find someone that's grassrooted in Oakland that really understands Oakland, that have family members that understands the struggle and what programs didn't work. So they can fix that because when you bring someone in, they're just going to create new programs and figure out if they work. They're going to do stats, get data and say, oh, this didn't work. No, we need people that understand what is going to work for Oakland. Not the ones that are uh, trying to figure it out like her. She's trying to figure out, oh, this could work. That No, find someone. That's why when you got rid of LeRon Armstrong, hey, you took a piece out of the community. Um, it's like the glue sometimes to a community where someone is there and they know what's going on around them. And they pretty much, you know, keep things together to where it's. Or to a minimum, because Oakland and crime is rampant. Um, I believe Ron, LaRon Armstrong did help that. I believe he helped because he knew Oakland. To me, the police, you know, is one of our uh, worst enemies when it comes to being a foundational black American. But we need them. And that's to protect us before the crime happens, not wait till the crime happens. And that's what it sounds like they're doing here with her and allowing this crime so she can get federal funding. And I noticed this guy from the federal uh, overseer, he hasn't went anywhere. Oakland has been under federal oversight for maybe 10 years or so. And this guy ain't went nowhere. But all of a sudden, everyone within that gets fired. And I'm, uh, I, I got to get some more detail on this guy's name. I don't have it for you guys right now, but I will uh, get a link and post it in there. But this guy is a federal overseer of Oakland. And every so often, we, we just get a flux of new... A new polit politicians, new elected officials, but he's still there. And the problem is probably him. It could be him and they're all together in this. But this is my message to y'all. You know, I just want to let y'all know 
hey, look, police commission, I'm with y'all. Find someone that's going to help Oakland. Outside entities bringing them into a city that they don't know uh, doesn't work. We've seen this over time. You can go to the cities in Chicago, to Detroit, you know, New York. Hiring people that don't understand the community outside the community creates a problem within the community. Okay? So take that advice, man, and uh, send that to Mayor Shintao and let her know Oakland is bigger than just uh, politics. Okay? We need policies. Politics is not working for Oakland, especially yours, Mayor Shintao. So get your politics right. And I'll holler at you in a minute. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I also want to say God bless those going through the struggle. And make sure you watch out for them cold narratives that the government trying to push on us, y'all. And to all my black people, I will be nothing without y'all. God bless you all.